Hey gang, Scott here. In today's video, let's talk about the Structure AI tool in Luminar AI. I'll show you the controls, how they work, how you may want to use it on your photos, and a couple of words of warning about the tool because you can go a little overboard with it if you're not careful. Really quick, if you enjoy videos like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you're thinking about adding Luminar AI to your toolkit, check the show notes. There's an offer code down there that can save you a bit of money. So let's talk Structure AI. Structure AI, as its name suggests, will add structure, add detail to your photo. And this scene, I've done a variety of adjustments to, to really make this you know forest you know, green and, and powerful and have some presence. The final piece is to add some structure to it. Now there are two different controls, amount and boost. Amount adds or removes detail, and so I'll push it very far to the right, and we'll see that the photo gets an incredible amount of detail. It actually looks pretty good for this scene, maybe a little bit strong, uh, but this is like the first word of warning with structure. You can push this slider a little bit too far and things get crunchy. But you know, again, the reason we have sliders that go so far is so we know we've gone too far and we can back off and make things look good. The thing, interesting thing about structure too is you can remove structure. You can make things look dreamier. Right, as I remove structure, this gets very soft and diffused, and that may be an interesting look depending on what it is you're trying to do with your photo. You know, for this scene, I want some structure. So I'll let's pop around here a little bit and maybe settle. Around there looks pretty good. Uh, and there's one additional adjustment I'll do, but let me talk about the boost slider. Now, boost really focuses in on you know, very small, fine details. It almost gives an HDR kind of look to a photo. So if I push boost here, you'll start to see things get even crisper. Let me go all the way to the right where you know this to me is hyper realistic not uh, my style of photography this is too crunchy for me and truth be told i really don't use the boost slider often if at all i like to do the work with just the structure slider and it tends to give me what i want now one other thing this is true for most tools in luminar we have masking options we can mask these things not having to apply them everywhere and so for this scene i want this area to be the focus of the attention of my viewer well i'll go into my masking area i'll use a radial mask just draw a circle here and let's maybe make this kind of an oval and what this is doing is it's putting the structure on the inside of this elliptical shaped tool. Well, actually, right now it's putting it on the outside. I have to invert that radial right over here. And now we see that red, is that red showing there? That's telling me that is where my structure is being applied. And so now notice inside that area, in the center, that's where I have that extra pop of structure and then it fades out until it reaches the outer edge and then outside there is no structure and so this lets me just gently guide my viewer a little bit more into the scene where I want you to see because our eyes are going to pop uh, or are going to uh, be attracted to things that are sharp and in focus so when you're working with structure and you're trying to accent a particular subject don't overlook the masking tools. They are very helpful. And also, don't overdo it with the structure. You can push these sliders a little bit too far. So keep them in check, but they are great. They're both powerful. Uh, I tend to use just Structure AI by itself, the amount slider, boost, you know, play with it. If you need it for your photo, you go ahead and use it. Hope that helps you out. Got any questions about the tool, drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.